everybody, Scott Luton with Supply Chain Now on a gorgeous fall morning here in the metro Atlanta area. Hey, check out this video we've got teed up as our dear friends from Verison, uh, Paul and Michael, share some of the key takeaways from a recent event they attended that features some of the world's leading procurement rock and roll leaders. Check it out and let us know what you think. It's great to host procurement leaders from all over North America here in Atlanta, Georgia this week uh, to talk about you know, the landscape of supply chains and where procurement leaders are driving strategy across global organizations to really overcome a lot of the you know, data and collaboration challenges was a big theme that we saw. A new phrase we're coining is that MRO takes a village. It's not just one stakeholder, it's many stakeholders internally and externally from a supply base standpoint that really help drive transformations. What a great event this week at ProcureCon MRO here in Atlanta. Uh, I think it was a, a tremendous experience both for, for us as an exhibitor here at, at Verison, but also I know that uh, a lot of the attendees and, and a lot of the companies that were present there uh, kind of got some affirmation around some of the challenges that they're facing uh, in, in the space. And, and uh, there were some themes that I heard that, that not only resonated with me this, this week and the last couple of days at ProcureCon MRO, from a perspective of you know, what are they excited and encouraged about? You know, where's some of the, 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 that tailwind in their sales, if you will. Uh, we heard a lot about you know, supply chain stabilization. So supply chains are becoming more stable, which kind of lends itself to more predictability. So a lot of procurement teams now feel like they, they've got more leverage. They can, they can take that, that stabilization and, and that predictability and turn that into leverage for their organization. So I was really excited to hear that theme kind of continue to resonate this week uh, and certainly matches up what I've been hearing you know, over the past you know, six to eight months. Now, what we spoke about was AI's presence in the space and new ways to look at data. And um, we had led off with a, a moment of silence for traditional data cleansing and traditional data dependent inventory optimization and spend analytics um, software that requires, you know, nearly perfect data. And um, that's no longer the case. Data is no longer a prerequisite or clean data is no longer a prerequisite for driving the outcomes that you as procurement leaders and your operational stakeholders um, really need to know what you need to inventory, what you need to spend for a reduced risk profile. Because really all of this is, it's all about managing risk and not shutting down the plant but not over-insuring yourself because you mistrust each other, you mistrust data. I think that was really interesting was everyone was thinking and, and really open to kind of shifting their mind and their thought process and thinking differently about how they might embrace technology and, and how they might now be more open and more um, have more time and, and energy to focus on innovation. It was, it was great to see both current customers and partners um, and those that we're working with to really transform uh, and speed up the transformation uh, that organizations are looking at across uh, their organization now. And no better place to do it than the supply chain tech capital of the world, Atlanta, Georgia.